price action. Probably one of the most important aspects of trading with technical analysis. It can predict whether the price will jump or fall, gain momentum or lose momentum. If you don't understand price action, chances are you won't be a successful trader. Let me tell you why. Most indicators, even the popular ones like moving averages, MACD, RSI, stochastics, all are lagging indicators. What I mean by that is that they use previous price as an input. So sure it might give you a signal to go in, but most of the time the chart has already started going up or down before that indicator gives the entry signal. This is the exact reason why price action is such a powerful tool to understand, because it can help you make decisions in real time. No delay, no lag, pure in the moment trading. Now I'm definitely not saying to never use indicators. Indicators can 100% help you make unbiased decisions when trading, especially when paired with price action. But what I am saying is if you want to become a successful trader, you definitely need to understand price action. That way you can take trades that you are confident in. That's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. Four price action secrets that'll help you trade more successfully and make you a better trader. Let's get straight to it. The first price action secret I'm going to show you has to deal with the candlestick. Most people when they look at the candlestick mainly focus on the wicks. While the wicks can be an important part when reading the candlestick, the body itself can tell just as an important story. Let me show you how. Take a look at this candle. Its characteristics are very specific. It's a large green candle without any wicks. Whenever this candle is formed, it means buyers found this specific price so attractive that they started buying in huge quantities. The buying pressure was so high that the price started going up and the selling pressure was so weak the sellers couldn't fight off the buyers. This is exactly why this specific candle had such a strong close. Whenever you see a green candle like this, it's an extremely bullish sign and also is a great mark for a support or resistance level. One of the most important lessons in trading is that the past can predict the future and that's exactly what happens here. We saw a green candle with the big body and no wicks. So we set a support level right here because at this level buyers really like this price. And look what happens. We set a support level because we saw a big green candle with no wicks. The price moves sideways for a bit then reaches this level again. Once it does it bounces off because buyers really like this price then there's no turning back the price skyrockets the second secret I want to show you is something called mean reversion mean reversion is just a simple way of saying the price will always return to the average let me show you an example here we see a bunch of price movement but if we add a 50-day moving average we can see a trend whenever the price dips way below the moving average it ends up returning upwards back to the average same thing happens when the price goes too high. You can see here multiple times the price goes too high and it has a pullback to the average. This is a very important tool to keep in the back of your head. If the price makes a big movement away from the moving average, chances are it will return back to that line. As an example here, the price makes a big dip downwards away from the moving average. This would be a good time to buy because we know mean reversion is a thing and the price will likely return back to the average, which it does. The next price action secret I want to tell you has to do with momentum. Momentum is a huge part of trading and it can give you clues if the chart is about to be bullish or bearish. Momentum is the rate at which the price moves. So we can predict the price is going to go up if the chart is gaining momentum. So here you can see the chart is going up but it's very gradual and it's doing it pretty slowly. Then it has a slight pullback and the chart makes a sharp upward movement. So this chart in itself is gaining momentum. Here we can see the price movement upwards is a lot more gradual than this one. This means a lot more buyers are entering the market and gaining strength, which means the chart is gaining momentum. And you know what happens? The price makes a slight downwards pullback and does a huge jump upwards. Momentum plays a huge role in trading, and it's definitely an important tool to understand to make you a better trader. The fourth and final secret I'm gonna share with you has to deal with pullbacks, and it's a very powerful concept to understand. Let me show you an example. When a chart moves up or down, it does not move in a straight line. It has pullbacks. Pullbacks are these price corrections right here which give this chart that jaggedy look. Pullbacks are a 
sign that traders are taking profit. Hence, the size of the pullback can give a bunch of information on what's going to happen next with the chart. If the chart is in an uptrend and there's a weak downward pullback, that means less traders are exiting their trades, which usually means a strong upward movement will happen next. If there is a strong pullback, meaning more traders are exiting their trades, odds are the price will start moving sideways or even worse, move in the opposite direction you want it to. Now, you might be asking yourself, how do I know if a specific pullback is weak or strong? Well, let me show you. To do this, we're gonna be using the Fibonacci retracement tool. This will help us realize if a pullback is strong or weak. To use the Fibonacci retracement tool, simply go to TradingView or whatever chart platform you use, go to the side here and click this top one. Now, when you first select the Fibonacci, it's gonna have a bunch of different levels, which all these levels are a little much and can really clutter your chart. So we're gonna keep it simple and delete some levels so it can be a bit easier to read and understand. To do this, just place the Fibonacci anywhere on the chart, click it, and then go up here to the settings. You're gonna to wanna to uncheck all the levels besides these. 0, 0 0.382, 0 0.5, 0 0.618, and 1. This will give us less values to work with and overall make it a lot easier to read. So how we're gonna decide if a pullback is strong or weak is by these lines. Let me show you an example. So first thing we want to do is put our lower line on the lowest low and then drag the upper line to the highest high. So in this example, we're going to be looking for a long trade. We will consider a pullback weak if the price dips above the 0.382 level. If the price dips below the 0.382 level, it's a strong pullback. So like we were saying before, the weaker the pullback, the better. As you can see in this example here, we set our lines to the low and to the high and we can see the price rise but then had a pullback only to the 0.618 line which as we discussed earlier is a weak pullback. This is a very bullish sign. We enter the trade here, the price continues to go upwards after. Let me show you an example of a strong pullback. So as you can see here, we set our points to the highest high and the lowest low. Then we can see the price moves upwards, then it has a pullback under the 0.382 line, which we consider a strong pullback. We can predict that after the price has a strong pullback, it'll start to move sideways or reverse in the opposite direction. And just as we predicted, the price starts to fall hard. Now, it's very important to note that any of these price action secrets by themselves won't have a high win rate, but when combined together or even paired with some other indicators, it can be extremely powerful. I just showed you four different price action secrets. All I ask in return is if you take two seconds out of your day and like this video. If you need a powerful strategy to pair these price action secrets with, check out this video because I go super in depth and one of my favorite strategies to use. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.